incredible for his first year as a freshman. Um, but you, you can always find things to get better at. And, um, you know, for Trevor, I think it starts with, uh, you know, managing the game, being able to manage the game in all the different situations. And he did a good job of that for the most part last year, but there's always room for improvement in that area. Um, we already talked about leadership, um, you know, being able to take it to the next level. You know, he needs to take another step and, and really uh, grab the bull by the horns and, and, and take control of this team and take control of this offense. And, um, and that's just by finding more opportunities to be a leader, whether it's on the field or off the field. Um, and then I think another big thing for him is not overthinking stuff. You know, whenever you master an offense, which he's done, sometimes you try to do too much. And I think it's very important for him to keep it simple. That doesn't mean you continue, you don't continue to learn and continue to grow and continue to see the big picture, but it's so important for him to not overthink and keep it simple and trust the system that we have in place because we all know the weapons that we have around him. And so he just needs to continue to, to, to um, stay consistent with that. I mean, does it help having a guy like Trevor who is so even keeled? I mean, you know he wasn't going to show up at spring practice in a limo or something like that and say, you know, I've arrived. I yes. mean, does it yes. help to have a, a young man like that? It, absolutely. I mean, I think it was very impressive on how he, tr how he handled himself a year ago last spring um, and just how he was a high profile recruit everybody knew about him but he all he did was stay quiet for the most part and went to work and he earned the respect of his teammates through his hard work and um, and I think the relationship that he built with the other quarterbacks in the room was special um, he never stepped on any toes. Um, he and Kelly had a great relationship, and still do, and uh, that says a lot. I mean, that says a lot about a young man, and, and these players see it, the coaches see it, and, uh, and, and he needs a lot of respect for that. So it's, it's, it's very comforting as a coach to, not, to, to have a guy like that that has that type of personality and, and understands that you know, he's a team guy. He has to earn it just like anybody else. And that didn't change this spring after the national championship? Not at all. I mean, he just went back to work and, and uh, you know, continued to be a leader on the team. I and mean, that's what he did. Brandon, what quarterback gurus?